Now, to specify on this type of rigging and everything else, we will be discussing how to deal with a rig of this nature. Let's get rid of this menu, and we don't need the timeline. And as you can see, this is animated. And we have a simple reload animation. And I'll show you guys how to bring up the camera and stuff to look like this. And all these motions. Now, you might be looking at this like, this looks like a lot of work. Well, it is, but it's not. The easiest way to get into the default setting for every bone that you have is to click and we will show this rig okay and we will go control and this is the default state for all of it well this looks a little odd but it's manageable now we will do pose and we need it to be in the rest position yes here we go rest this is also a button that you can put both position and rest but this is going to be partially how we are going to look at animating now if you have a rig like this and all the bones are not connected like they are then you cannot use auto IK which auto IK is really nice and things and you can also change the bones if you like envelope or just stick like this I prefer wire sometimes but sometimes I like stick bones but as I was saying with auto IK when you have auto IK and things you can grab bones oh I can't do it because I'm in the rest state but you can grab bones and just move them along now as you can see you can't do that here it's because the bones are not interconnected and you might be thinking well why would you even want a rig that's not auto IK the question is not why would I want a rig this way the, the question is what's the benefits a lot of times there is a few benefits to it because you can anim you can um, have different bones to deal with certain problems like here like if you got an unnatural looking bone you can manipulate the vertices a lot better sometimes and other times not now when it comes to rigging everyone's got their own like recipe and stuff okay so when dealing with other people's rigs like so because this is not my rig I would never have a rig like this but I can see that this could benefit in certain aspects right because it's it's so customized like even the little knuckles right here you can bend around all right you can if you have little issues with vertices right here that just don't want to cooperate you can blend them onto the boat but in all honesty I don't like this rig but I can deal with it and animate it just fine as you've seen during the animation process You've seen that I animated it just fine. Now, the whole purpose of the tutorial is to give you guys a quick and more rundown way of doing something. Okay? Dealing with shading and getting these bones to be manipulated the way you want. And, like I said, no no auto IK so you're gonna have to sit here and manipulate these one by one okay 
And I have a technique that I'm going to show you guys how to deal with certain things like this. But um, this is the part that I wanted to show you guys. Now, thankfully, there is an easy way of doing this. Now, in this, in this, this is a auto IK rig. Notice that every single bone is connected right here. And if I wanted to do something with the bone, I can literally grab and move things around. I can go and use a shortcut key to get to the default state and I can do cool things like this take this bone right here and just grab it and go right and this is auto IK without auto IK on then we get stuff like this no IK whatsoever so we naturally have to oh I've got this locked now there come time when you can lock rotations and stuff and it would be very useful. So you won't do stupid stuff like this. And look like he's got some retarded um you know broken arm or something. I guess there could be a reason that you would want to know something like this, but it's not exactly something that I would prefer to teach you but it is there if you want it now if you ever come into a state where you do not know you've just got your whole rig all messed up and you would like to get to your default state where everything doesn't have a rotation or anything else you can click on one of your bones right here in pose mode go a once deselects everything then you hit a again and it will select everything okay then you hit alt R and you will be in the default state where you started right here which for this rig is right here this is the rest position now you can change the rest position and everything else but what I'm going to show you is going to be better than using auto IK or any of this stuff now auto IK would be nice for a shortcut for some of this stuff now I ain't gonna lie having this on and going up here and just going bloop and then bloop is pretty shortcutty okay I'm not gonna lie it's nice right but you still have to make sure that we don't rotate stuff that's not supposed to be rotated and that's what these locks are here for for me to, my, <coughs> to not mess up, right? Not mess up and rotate something that shouldn't be rotated, okay? And we could still manipulate transforms just fine. And look, I pretty much almost have the hands out there in no time, right? Where, if you didn't have a rig that's able to use auto IK, you would have to manipulate every single one of these transforms. Because without auto IK, it will do something like this. You'll have this, click on the bone again, this, and then you have to go here and stuff, and then you're like... Well, I don't really like this. This is dumb. And it kind of is. I'm not going to lie. So the reality of it is very simple. <coughs> Whichever you prefer. Now the purpose of the video is to show you guys two different types of rigs. One without auto IK and one with auto IK. 
and how to deal with them. Okay, which is going to be the core of this video series, this little mini series for doing animations. Now, if you like this video and everything else, please like, hit, subscribe, because we're going to deal with content exactly like this. And I will show you guys why there's a bone in this and how we can use bones to manipulate things. And it will still be compatible with Unity's engine. Now, when it comes to animations like this and everything else, and you're thinking, you, let's, hmm, how can I put this? Eh, I don't know. But, that's the core of, is dealing with this to import this into Unity.